Florida is plagued by all kinds of invasive species of animals and plants. And today we're gonna to take a closer look at one of the most invasive species, the brown anole. They originated from the pet trade like most invasive species in Florida, and they've been around since the 1970s, and they've been thriving ever since. Brown anole are a species of small lizard known for their speed and their incredible ability to blend in. They are masters at avoiding predators, and they eat just about anything that can fit in their mouth, leading them to be highly invasive. They spend most of their days on the forest floors or in the lower canopies, avoiding predators and eating food. Usually you can see them by the dozens scurrying across the forest floor, but on this cold day, I struggle to find any, even just to film. So if you live in Florida or have ever been to Florida, you know that these brown anoles are everywhere usually, and theoretically they're easy to find, even on the sidewalks, on the pavements, not just outside. And however, it is winter time in Florida. There has been a cold front recently, so I'm struggling to find them as they're not as active this time of year. Usually the ground is almost moving. They're scurrying everywhere as you walk along the trail, especially out here, but I can barely find any. So they're hard to film this time of year and they're definitely hard to catch. Even when there's plenty of them, they're very hard to catch. They're very quick. And I think that's one of the biggest reasons they've thrived is that there's not a lot of predators who can keep up with their quickness. And I also think that's why so many people release them as pets because they're skittish, they're jumpy, they're nifty, they blend in. So if one of them, when you're trying to hold your pet jumps, he could be gone forever. So, and just escape. So I'm sure a lot of them are pet releases, pet escapes. So don't make a good pet, highly invasive. And they're usually everywhere, but I can't seem to find them. Brown and Noel are incredible escape artists. And take a look at that. Look how quick that anole clocked my presence and scurried up the tree. I'll have to be a lot quicker next time if I want to get my hands on any of these guys. After hours of hiking and walking and the occasional distraction of an alligator spotting, I finally managed to get my hands on an invasive brown anole. I finally caught a brown anole. We used to do this as kids. Oh, he's jumpy, he's jumpy. And they're really cool. Here's a tiny, tiny one. Sorry. It's taken me all day to catch him. It's not focusing. So I finally caught brown and all. This is a really small one and they're really quick. And a really cool thing they can do is they can actually detach this tail, which is why I'm kind of grabbing it by both the tail and the body. And they'll detach this tail when they're grabbed by predators and the tail will keep moving and it will distract whatever's trying to eat it. And then it leaves time for this guy to get away. So when we were kids and you try and catch them, you'd grab them by the tail and the tail would just pop off and keep moving. So they can regrow the tail, hey buddy, but it leaves them defenseless. So I didn't want to grab any by the tail today and have them without their tail. I actually saw one without its tail. but they're quick, they're very, very quick. Uh, and if you wanna see why they're so hard to catch for a lot of our Florida uh, predators, try and catch one, because they're really fast. And I got this guy, I caught him lacking, but they'll detach that tail there and they will bite, they will hiss. And some of them have a dewlap. This one's a female, so it doesn't have a dewlap, but she's very pretty and very invasive. You're okay, you're okay, you're okay. Look at that. Brown and all, it took me forever to catch one of these. They're quick. Look, she's just resting on my hand now. Realize I don't do her any harm. And she jumped away. They can jump as well. It took way too long to catch that lizard, but they're quick. And they weren't very active today because of the cold, even though the sun's out. But I like to say thank you for watching. We have a lot more coming on invasive species. This was just a short, quick episode on brown and oles. They're everywhere, they're highly invasive. They've been around since the 1970s, like I said. So killing them isn't gonna help. They're, they're here to stay, they're not going anywhere. The best we can do now is to prevent any further invasive species to being introduced through education. And that's part of what we do here at the Alligator and Wildlife Discovery Center. So again, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.
That was a lot harder than it should have been.